Hi, I'm Kumudri Gulatilaka, an alumnus at Gateway College Colombo and LMBTI, and now an aspiring master's student at the University of Aizu in Japan. In my last years at Gateway, I was very confused as to which field I can actually join into. I really wanted to be a software engineer, but I didn't know which university to join or which field to really go into or what path of software engineering I really wanted to invest myself into. And that's when I got to hear about LMBTI, the Lankan Nippon Bistec Institute. And through this, through a word of recommendation, I got to know that LMBTI offers amazing opportunities to actually go to Japan and either continue your higher education in Japan or actually find a job in Japan as a proficient software engineer in the field you like. Me having an interest in Japan from a young age during my childhood, I was very interested in this university at a glance and I decided to give it a shot. And here I am now, an aspiring master's student at the University of Aizu in Japan. And then when I reached the end of my studies here at LMBTI, after an amazing amount of support from my teachers and administrative staff, I was confronted with actually applying to Japanese universities. Back in my day, we had around three to five universities in Japan that we could apply to. And I applied for around three universities. Unfortunately, I didn't get into the first university I helped with and I was quite saddened by this fact. But the teachers didn't give up on me. The teachers and I can even remember the administration were like, it's okay Kumudri, let's give it one more try. Let's try this university. You can definitely get in. And that's when I applied to the University of Aizu and I got in. And after that, there was a lot of procedures I had to do by myself. But of course, the, administ the administration staff um, helped the way that they could. And thanks to all of their support, including my friends, my family, and of course mine, I am now an aspiring master's student at the University of Aizu in Japan. At first, since this is my first time traveling to Japan, I was honestly very scared because it was a new environment, new people, a new lifestyle. And I was very worried even, as my, even for my safety being a girl. But I honestly, all my worries just disappeared the moment I stayed in Aizu for like over a week because Aizu was a very peaceful area and people are very kind and considerate. They honestly, if I were to say informally, they mind their own business. So as long as you stay, as long as you stay honest and you stick to your own business and do not trouble those around you, they will not trouble you as well. So I feel like that was a huge sense of relief for me and my family um, when it comes to my lifestyle in Japan. And of course, the food is very healthy and um, I felt like I learned to live a lot more independently in Japan than when I was in Sri Lanka. Because in Sri Lanka, um, I was, I tend to limit how much I used to go out and I tended to not really travel around much in the evening and um, I was not, I didn't really need to do stuff by myself because my parents would help me do it. But of course, when I went to Japan, from handling your own bills to handling your own academic work to taking care of yourself and being able to explore by yourself, I felt like it was such a huge learning experience. And I felt like that is definitely an experience everyone should at least have once in their life. Once I landed in Japan, I was very overwhelmed by the lifestyle that they had, a different culture, a different language, a different curriculum at the university. It was very overwhelming. But um, luckily, even when I wanted official documents from time to time, such as academic transcripts and so on, LMBTI was very easy to work with and they tried their best to give it to me as soon as possible, which I truly appreciated. And it was honestly thanks to LMBTI's Japanese lessons that I was able to somewhat speak Japanese in Japan. And right now I'm trying my best to sit for my N2 examinations in Japan as well. Um, in addition to that, the support system at the University of Aizu was also really helpful. And that's when I realized that LMBTI doesn't just work with normal Japanese institutes. They of course try to give the students the best that they can give. Um, and of course, now that I'm in my master's, I'm also looking into job opportunities around Aizu. And Aizu, being a very rural area, gives plenty of opportunities for major companies to have their headquarters around. For instance, um, the company named Sigma, which works with global camera companies around the world, they have their headquarters located in Aizu, which offers amazing opportunities. In fact, 
uh, representatives from these different companies come to the University of ISU and they speak to the students and they tell about what kind of opportunities they have and what kind of futures that we can aspire to join. And I feel like that's great because those kind of opportunities are very, they're rarely seen in Sri Lanka. And I feel like Sri Lanka could really follow in um, Japan's footsteps in that stead. In fact, actually, on a weekly basis, the university sends us emails about job opportunities around Japan, from um, online uh, job opportunities to physical job opportunities to part-time. So I feel like as a university student who has to focus on studies and who has to also get some sort of an income, I, I really appreciate that because I really do not have the time to sit and search for jobs by my own. But the fact that the university offers this amount of support is um, really good. And I feel like, of course, in um, Sri Lanka, that kind of support is not that strong. But of course, Sri Lanka definitely has the opportunity to improve in that sense as well. Now that I'm a master's student and I'm starting to look into job opportunities as well, because I would like to continue my academics while also earning some sort of an income and also gaining experience in the Japanese industry. And what I've noticed is one, uh, Japan does definitely have a lot of opportunities if you are looking to join the IT sector in general, not just software engineering, because software engineering is quite uh, a very focused sector. But if you're looking into IT in general, Japan definitely has a lot of opportunities waiting for you. For instance, right now I have an interest in project management. So I'm looking into companies with such offers and it is, I can confidently say that you can definitely earn much more with uh, Japanese companies, especially given the higher exchange rate when it comes to the yen against the rupee. And I feel like there are, like I said before, much more opportunities and therefore you can have much more opportunities to grow as well because you don't have to just limit yourself to one type of occupation. But of course, it doesn't come to you all free. Um, even back in LMBTI, uh, despite the teachers showing the way, despite the administration doing all the admin work they probably could, I felt like a huge part of my career up to this point was highly dependent on how hard I worked. The fact that I had to be on top of my studies, I had to also go out of my way and do a few community projects the way I can or do a few extracurricular activities the way I can because these, um, these activities were very helpful when I was applying for scholarships in Japan which I luckily got and because they of course they only take the cream of the crop, they take the best that they want to take. So everyone will be giving their best in academics. So you need something that sets you apart from those students because everyone has high marks. So you need to do some sort of curriculum or you need to do a, a extra, like intercultural activities or so on and make yourself stand out from the rest so such universities would like to work with you. And even companies, they really give, in addition to your academics, they really give prominence to the amount of activities that you tend to do apart from your academics. So, and luckily, even at LMBTI, our final year was dedicated to a one-year internship. And I was thankful enough to, I was lucky enough to get a job as a business analyst uh, at SenseMate IoT Solutions. And that internship offered me so much insight. I was able to apply what I learned at LMBTI in a real life setting from my business studies to my programming knowledge to everything. I was able to apply it and I really clicked me like, oh, so this is what my lecturers meant when they were teaching it. And I felt like that experience up to this day is very invaluable because I can now, because I have an advantage compared to other students who haven't done those kind of internships. I can go like, oh, look, I have done an internship, a one year internship, and I've performed quite well. And this is why I can perform well at your company as well. And this itself has given me so much advantages in, in applic applying for scholarships, or applying for jobs as we speak. So I feel like definitely, if you're looking, if you're unsure whether Japan really has an opportunity for you, you should definitely give it a go. But of course, it comes at the risk of your own hard work and your dedication. So to my colleagues and my younger brother and sisters, what I have to tell you is be dedicated, work hard and work smart, because your hard work will definitely pay off. Of course, you have to, and always remember to be honest to yourself and to be humble. And eventually, of course, if you're targeting Japan, these values will go a long way. And for parents out there, please do not hesitate to send your child to Japan. It is a great environment for your child to grow in and 
develop a sense of independence. And of course, if your child does a great job there, they can even open opportunities to other members of the families or relatives around you. And of course, I owe a huge thank you to LMBTI because I wouldn't be at the place I am here today if it weren't for LMBTI's um, abilities and LMBTI's efforts to sending me to Japan, along of course with my colleagues and my parents' help. Thank you.